I am also acting as the vice chairperson of IEEE Students Branch, Aligarh Muslim University. I am also selected as an intern at University of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, through MITEX Global Research Internship Program. As we are all aware of the current COVID-19 COVID situation, it was very difficult for us to keep motivated and organize such events. I want to thank Dr. Muhammad Zad, our faculty advisor, who motivated us to conduct such events which are of very much beneficial to the first and second year students. So I will be giving you a brief explanation about what MITEX is, how to apply for it, benefits provided, and what worked for me. I have prepared a small PPT for all of you, but try to ask as many as, many as questions at the end of the session so that I can cover uh, the remaining questions which are not mentioned in the PPT. So let's begin. Is my screen visible, Mayana? No, sorry. Is my screen visible? Yes, it is. OK. So let's start. What is Metax? Metax Global Research Internship is a competitive initiative for international undergraduates from the following countries and regions. These are the countries mentioned. India is also a part of this. You can see the various countries that are allowed to participate in the uh, MITEX Research Global Internship Program. From May to October of each year, top-ranked applicants participate in a 12-week research internship under the supervision of Canadian university faculty members in a variety of academic disciplines from science, engineering, mathematics to the humanities and social science. So it's not like that, that engineering students can only apply for this internship. Even the humanities and the social science students can apply. MITEX Global Research Internship are currently available over 70 universities across Canada. So you can apply for more than 70 universities that are in Canada. So most important benefits of MITEX. Firstly, you are selected for a prestigious internship and that also fully funded. I will uh, explain what are the expenses that MITEX take care of. Ticket fare. They provide 1500 Canadian dollar as a ticket fare. For accommodation expense, they provide 200 Canadian dollar per week, which is equivalent to $800 per month. And it is sufficient. You will not need more than this to accommodate in Canada, irrespective of the city. You can uh, live in uh, expensive cities like Toronto also with this expense. They also provide you with a visa fee of 150 Canadian dollar and also a daily expense of 30 Canadian dollar for food and travel. And all this is very much up, um, up to the mark so that you can easily accommodate and uh, live three months in Canada. After completion of the internship, you will be a MITEX fellow scholar. And if you are willing to do masters from Canada, they will provide you 15,000 CAD. So this is the uh, most beneficial point that MITEX provide. If you are willing to do your master's from Canada or any higher studies, uh, then they will provide 15,000 CAD, which will approximately cover one year of your tuition fee. And this opportunity is valid for three years from the date of completion of internship. And lastly, the most important po point, you will get a chance to visit abroad and that too free of cost. This year, Although the internship is in online mode, considering the current COVID-19 situation, but the good thing is they are providing us with good funds. Uh, 1,200 Canadian dollars they are providing, which is approximately 60,000 in INR. So it is very much sitting at home ideally and doing nothing. <laughs> then proceeding towards the criteria of selection, which is also an important point. One should be an enrolled student of undergraduate or postgraduate course from a reputed college. 
students should have at least a semester left and not more than three semester left after the completion of internship the second point basically means that you, uh, the student should be from his or her third year of btech so third year Uh, student can apply for this internship not final year student because after they will come for uh, from the internship on, on no semester will be left i guess and for the second year student if they will come after second year uh, more than three semesters will be left so they will not fulfill this situ- uh, this criteria so this is only for third year students the minimum percentage needed for you to be eligible for the internship is 75% if enrolled in an iit and must be above 80% from any other college of india so specifically for amu it is 80% so this point is very much important the percentage criteria may vary from country to country this i have written but it is of no use as all are indians here proceeding further <coughs> what are the documents required resume or cv which can be of two pages i will also provide my cv if you will face any problem uh, you can ask me personally for that then after that letter of recommendation i will explain what is uh, what what is letter of recommendation but uh, minimum one you have re- uh, you have to take and maximum two uh, uh, just uh, keep in mind uh, take lor from one who can define you like taught you a course took your lab was your project supervisor or with whom you have written uh, your research paper if any and please take care in uh, take care that don't run behind the hod of your department or some senior professor believing that their lor will be of more worth i don't believe that might have look are ba kaam kar rahe hain thoda der baad dekh please unmute I don't believe that Mitex look at the designation of the teacher. They just see the faculty m- must know the student well. I took from two assistant professor and it worked in my case because they knew me well. Then the third document is transcript. Transcript is a document which you will get from your college, which reflects all your grade till now and your CGPA. In AMU, you will get it from the RP unit section in two days after you fill the. transcript form and get your chalan slip of 100 rupees from amu bank then final document which you will be requiring is the statement of purpose you will have to write around 150 words indicating what are your interest and why you want to pursue research internship try to mention that you will further proceed this interest in research and will do a masters from canada so please try to mention this point uh, it is of very much use Uh, if you will show them that you are uh, very much willing to pursue your masters from canada then they will give you an edge for the internship <clears throat> so there are two rounds of selection first round so when you will apply the forms are uh, out around in june and they give you a time up to september to fill up the form then uh, after the portal is closed they provide they give you the result of the first round in november and there are three status that they provide candidate under consideration waitlisted and rejected so i will explain each of these candidate under consideration means that mitex have reviewed your cv and your form and have sent it to the respective professors whom which and uh, whom under whom you have applied uh and waitlisted means that mitex have reviewed your application form but not sent it to the professor in the first round rejected means that you are simply rejected you are not moving forward after you are coc in the first round uh, and the mitex have sent your profile to the respective professors the professor will contact you uh, in 15 in around 15 days for an interview via mail Uh, so i will talk about interview afterwards in the session uh, separately now moving on towards the second round second round uh, results will come out uh, the date is not specified uh, but when the first round results are over and students know that these are the particular students who are selected in the first round so um, second round also uh, there are two status 
CUC and rejected. Waitlisted is of no use because uh, it it is the final round and there is no need to wait afterwards. So same same is the procedure for CUC. Mm, uh, now the pro your application have been sent to the professor and rejected means that you are simply rejected and uh, there are no chance of getting you selected. <clears throat> so here are myths, many myths about the MITEX Research Global Internship Program. Uh, I have taken two about the percentage. So there is above 80 percent, but some people believe. I also used to believe that uh, the Mitex uh, will see a higher edge uh, of the percentage, like uh, around 90 percent. But it's not like that. If you are having an 80 percent uh, percentage or above, then you should apply, because uh, I have seen many of my friends with even 81% or 80.66% getting selected there because MITEX will also see, apart from percentage, they will also see your CV, like your research uh, paper, if you are having. Uh, it is of very much important. I will discuss uh, about it separately in the lower section. And your previous internship, about uh, your previous project that you have built. So these are very much important. And don't think that. Uh, if you are having 85% or 81% that you will not get selected. I have seen I have seen many students who are getting selected. Yes, definitely. If you are having a percentage of 90, you will get an edge for that. It's not. It's very much true. And the second myth is that only IITians and NITians can make into it. So it is very much false because uh, in the university in which I am selected at University of Regina, there uh, are many students who are in fact from private university. So it's not like that, that only IITians and NITians are selected. But yes, they are definitely given an edge uh, because of the name and the fame of the IITs and NITs and um, <clears throat> people know well about IITs abroad. Moving further, how to choose our project or university. Shortlist on the basis of either topic, province, or university. And please ensure that the requirements of the project mentioned matches the skills that you have mentioned in your CV and your interests that you have mentioned in your SOP. So suppose uh, I will take an example of mine. Uh, I, I took, uh, I shortlisted all the projects of in the field of Internet of Things. And I was having a research paper in the field of Internet of Things. Uh, I was having a workshop. So I tried to mention uh, these things in my CV and in my statement of purpose also. So um, I tried to shortlist all the all the <clears throat> projects that were based on the field of Internet of Things. So that provided me an edge. So suppose if you are uh, shortlisting projects on the in the fields of, uh, suppose, uh, web development and you are having no prior experience mm -hmm. of that then definitely you will not get selected and uh, and the importance of already built projects uh, already built projects means that uh, suppose i will take uh, mine example only i mm, prior to applying my text i i had already built an <clears throat> internet of things project on the smart agriculture system so that provided me an edge uh, because I was having already built projects in the field of Internet of Things and the professor was very happy that I was having a prior experience in this field. So importance of already built projects is very much important. So I will promote second year and first year student that there is a lot of time. So you can just uh, <clears throat> shortlist uh, that you have interest in this field and try to build your CV and try to build as many as project in this field. Suppose you are interested in machine learning, in cybersecurity, Internet of Things, or any of this. Then importance of research paper. This is literally very much important. 